Stop flipping raining! Oh! Oh. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Unbelievable. I just, uh, look, that, that is where I made hay earlier in the summer. What a day, what an autumn. I'm supposed to be making or getting the har harvest in tomorrow, the harvest of maize. And I don't think that's gonna happen. We've got a flipping lot of rain come down today. Cows have just come back in. Oh look, I, I thought I'd fix this gutter. Oh, brilliant, that's leaking up there, isn't it? Look at that. That's a lot of water coming down. I think I reckon I'll have to get back up and check the gutters. It looks to me, looks like this is a blockage because it's leaking there as well. Don't normally have that problem. Uh, and water coming in the back of here as well, which is where the maids are. <laughs> cows aren't happy. Can you hear them? So basically, we turned the cows back out because it got dry. They weren't coming in at night. And we thought we'd be on a bit of a winner because we thought we'd recover, but the rain we're having now, they're all hungry, they're not happy. They've come up. I'm getting this ready for maize, but we weren't gonna, we were, part of the reason we're keeping it off here at night is I was trying to keep that clean because I didn't want muck dragged into the maize. But um, we're gonna let them back in tonight. We've got to keep them in. It's turning into a very difficult autumn, this one. I mean, by the time you see this video, because by the time I've edited it and put it in, things might have changed again, because I'm a bit behind on vids, so um, I think it is dry in the next few days. We will get the maize in either this week or it'll be next week. Um, but you can see the floods are back out, straight on over there. Over there, look. I got the tractor out, because the next field the cattle were going to was back in that flooded area because it had just dried out. Do you remember it was flooded back in a couple of weeks ago? And I just about got ready to graze it. I thought it'd be all right. And now I'm gonna have to get it down there in a the tractor and take up the fence because I'm worried I've got electric fences that'll be underwater. That's happened before. Right, anyway, let's crack on, my phone's ringing. Oh, what a difference to date me. I'm just driving down to get this fence here, fencer. Look at this, can you see? The cow, the cow tracks have now turned into uh, basically a little mini river where the um, where the actual water is running down the field. So those cow tracks are now full of water. Brilliant. Look at that. Right, let's get down and see what I can find. I, it's damage limitation. If I don't get it in now, I, I think what will happen, I think it'll all be under water by tomorrow because the floods have come up tonight. Oh, do you know what? When I came down here, it wasn't that bad. I can see water on the surface there, I think. Oh, I'm probably leaving a flipping mark behind us. Yeah, look. Can you see that? Look. Look at that. The windows are really dirty, but you can, you can see the water's on the surface now. So the cows are back in tonight. I, I just, I'm just completely fed up with this year. I've had enough of it, flipping out. We had a very wet winter last year and the spring was rubbish. We managed to get some loose silage done. And we did get our hay in, which was a struggle, but we did manage it. But it's been a flipping battle. And um, now look at it, the autumn, I've still got a few weeks of grass. Do you remember last year, the grass was underwater? and I gave up in the end. Well, I think it'd be the same. Uh, so, TB test uh, the other day, the heifers are still in. I've got the results uh, on Thursday, but the heifers are staying in. Because um, there's no point me bringing them out. Look at this, look. 
water's on the ground there. I brought the cows down here. I brought the cows down here this morning. They were gonna, they just grazed off this field before I brought them down to the actual proper grazing. But I didn't think it would change from this to from this morning to this. This morning I came down here and there was a lovely mist hanging over the field, and it was all quite idyllic. In fact, I took a couple of photos, but I, as I walked up the top of the field, I could see. So you know, when you, if you do photography, you know what I mean? I walked away from a beautiful place I should have been down photographing, but the trouble is you've got to keep working, haven't you? Right, let's see what we can find. Um, they have grazed this down quite well, so at least they've had a day out here, but they won't be back down here now. Again, for at least a week. Right. I'm giving a talk to a, um, I don't know, it's a progress group or something, tangent or something like that tonight down there in the Bristol and I just phoned just now just to say I don't know whether I can make it I'll, uh, depending on what the roads are like because the trouble is from where I'm going to normally floods across sometimes I do these talks I do enjoy giving a talk but sometimes you wonder whether they're worth it because I finish a hard day on the farm and then I head off somewhere and uh, it's very nice to get a dinner with this but um, the dinner is between 8 and 9 I speak between 9 and 10 by the time I get home you know, I'm up again at half five. It's, the trouble is, I do enjoy doing this stuff, you know? Right, look at this, flip it out. I'm just, I'm, oh my goodness, I'm gonna turn this around in a minute. I've come down here in the nick of time. Let me just, look at this, right. So, let's have a look. So, look at this. So, the field, look, there's quite a lot of grass in here. It's a good bite for the cows and uh, I was planning to let them in here uh, tomorrow, but I'm not bringing them down here now. Look at this. So I put this electric fence to stop them going into the next bit. That's that's the bridge there. There's a stream there. This is the fence there. I'm not leaving this down here anymore because I have done this before and the floods have come up over the top of the fences. So I'm taking this back with me, giving me a load of buckets full of water. Oh look, there's no handle on there. Flipping now. Right, I'm just gonna put this down. I've got no handle on my battery, that's just sods all, isn't it? Right, put that there. Do you know what? I think I better take the reel with me as well. Let me just get that. I might lose you in a minute. I said I just dropped it in the water. Look at this. So my reel is down here. Look at that. There is a bridge there. Look at this. Let's just reel that in. Where's that going? Oh, that's done itself up. I'm battling against it today. Look, it's absolutely chucking it down. I don't know what you can really see here. Oh. Where's the bridge gone, eh? Let's get that up. Let me just get this stuff in, in the cab and we'll have a little chat. Oh. Look at this. Let's just get that. Oh, let's get in. Right. So, you can see. I thought, you know, I thought it was worth putting this little video in here because you see what I'm battling against here now. Uh, the problem is, what, so what I'm really trying to do is I'm trying to carry on my farming year in the same way as I would in a normal year. So I'm trying to keep the cows out till the end of October. I'm trying to 
you know reduce the amount of work I've got because I know I've got all of winter coming ahead of me and yet nature is just battling against me and this bit of grazing here there's five days probably a good grass here I, there really is um, ideal young grass that's regrown after I did the hay cut in August the cattle will love it it won't be nutritionally that great but it will be nice grass and with a balance of a bit of cake and stuff it should be fine the milk's holding up quite well at the moment and also we'll probably put give them some silage in the evenings now uh, but it's whether I can even get to it because of that that flooding you know I mean I, I'm not bringing the cows down in, in this they'll just destroy everything uh, yeah so we, we're, we're, we're gonna quit on this for now um, the cows are now back in at night I managed to get them back out that's what's really annoying they've been out um, since Friday Friday night they went out and what is it today uh, when Tuesday so I had a f good run of five days with her out and, and Friday and Saturday were lovely days and now they're back in again at night and they want to be back in first day this today this uh, since Friday where they've actually come back to the gate they're telling you they want to come in uh, so so we'll see where we're going with this you know at some point I've got to really accept that winter's here and they're in but uh, you know I can carry on up the top there but even the top fields are now getting so wet um, and and I, and I don't have to explain to you what it's like if you're a farmer winter it's a long long slog in winter on the farm and you just want to try and reduce the length of that as much as you can but practical levels <laughs> this year oh anything anyway good uh, good to go home and have a bar of chocolate <laughs> i um i don't know what, what you gotta laugh about stuff and you can't always have a drink either can you because it's not very healthy you know but i always like a bit of chocolate or something makes you feel better a chocolate biscuit or a bit of chocolate so isn't it you need something like that to make you feel a bit bright in your day because when you've had a long day on the farm like this you know anyway right we're heading back up um i might put our tb test results in at the end of this and show you uh in fact yeah i will that so here's here's a bit of the tb test just showing you what we did um doing the testing and if you stay tuned to the end of it you'll see the results because i don't think you're going to be seeing any maze videos pretty soon i don't think we'll be making maze this week i could be wrong but it doesn't look like it right let's crack on this could be uh a bad day or a good day depending how this video ends with the uh result from the tb test stop flipping raining oh This is so bloody wet, the rain's coming through the shed. Look at it. These gutters can't cope, look at that. Look at it. What weather. Look. My waterproof shed's not waterproof. Oh, I, I don't think I've seen rain like this for ages. Not since the last lot of rain we had. Oh, yeah, no maze this week, sure of that. Hmm. Look at it, just coming running through the shed. Oh, so that was yesterday when we had all that rain. And now look at it, I've got all the cows in, they're in for the daytime, uh, as well as night time. I've kept them in. I mean, they've been out in the daytime and they were just staying in at night, but now they're in daytime. They're not particularly happy. And if we zoom over there, you can see the floods are out where I was yesterday. Look at that, properly out. We had so much rain yesterday. They're in. Can I get them back outside? That's the question. I, I'm hoping look we've got blue sky now look god this country is weird isn't it 
this autumn's weird. I'm hoping a couple more days in and I can let them back out again if it dries up to finish up that grass, but also so I can get in and do the maze because I've had to postpone Andy Sampson with the um, with the forager because while the cattle are in, I can't get the trailers in and out of here. So we've got to get them out really. And it's raining now again, but the forecast is looking better. So fingers crossed, we'll, um, we'll get these animals back out for a few weeks, another week maybe, if I can buy myself a bit of peace and quiet. Well, after abandoning yesterday's fencing, I thought I'd just come along and show you where I've put the fence for when the cows will go back out. They will, come on, people back me, they will go out. It's a bit of blue sky. Uh, I'm up the higher fields, away from the flooding where I was hoping to graze them. Look, the flooding's down there. We'll go down and see that flooding in a minute. But this higher field, look at this. I've still got this beautiful spring grass. It's not spring grass, it's autumn grass. But look. It's come back, it's rejuvenated really well here. So, well, let's see how we go with those caves. They'll be back out at some point. I'm, I, I'm determined. We, we must have had all the rain we need now. Can't believe there's any more to come. Famous last words. Anyway, I'm gonna go, we're going to go down and look at that flood now. I thought I'd show you something else I picked up as well, though. Look at these. A couple of deer horns. Um, and there's a bit of a sad story behind that. Look at this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Some people make them into sort of put them on sticks and stuff. Then I thought I'd just they mount them on um, on hazel sticks. I might do that. Actually, make a walking stick. Me and Harry could do that. Cut that off and mount them somehow. Um, right. But uh, yeah. Um, sad story about that is uh, I came along here the, uh, back in the summer. And there was a chap in the gateway, and I thought, what's he doing? Because, you know, but I didn't like to interfere, you know, maybe she's having a five minute break or something. And I got out to open the gate for my car to go down and see the cattle, and this chap said, oh, just hit, or someone else had just hit a deer in a car. And to be fair, I don't think it was him. Someone else had hit the deer, and the deer was sat in the field there, and he said, I've been sat in it for half an hour, seeing if it'll get up, and uh, I've given it some water. What do you think? I went across, and to be honest, I knew what had happened. It had obviously seriously damaged the uh, deer. Because obviously, if you if you hit something with a car, car, it's not especially a deer. It's not got big bones. You know, they're going to shatter inside it, even though it might look all right on the outside. And it was it was going to die. But I I couldn't leave it like that. It's not for me to leave animals in pain. So I went back to the farm and got the shotgun. And it was cruel to be kind, really. I ended up putting the shotgun to his head. I hated doing it. I really did. Mm. I really did hate doing that. I'm not, a, I'm not a shooter. I don't shoot animals. I don't go out on pheasant shoots or anything like that. Funny thing is, I've got no objection to people shooting animals. You know, I've got a guy who, who comes here and does a bit of shooting stuff. Don't mind someone else doing it. I can't bring myself to do it myself. Um, so I end up putting out of his misery. And, and those are the... Um, antlers that were left in the field with the dead animal i left it in the hedge because i thought fox or something i might have it I know what to do with it otherwise um what's that going along there hmm, i don't know what that was um anyway i've just picked those off it it was left there and i picked those off it so i'm gonna maybe do something with those i don't know right anyway let's crack on let's go down and have a look at this flooding so I think it's a bit of an event this week, isn't it? I'm getting my hair cut on Friday, look at this. Okay, let's go and have a look at this lovely grass I've got down here, where the heifers are going to be grazing. Not. Whoa, look at that. Where's it gone? Look at that. Oh, that was a bit of luck, wasn't it? I, um, flipping heck. That was a bit of luck. Well, they're not having an easy time. They've got to stay up the top of the farm now. They're normally down here where it's quiet. So, anyway, with all that rain we had, look at this. I was thinking I was going to bring the heifers back out here. Fat chance. Fat chance. 
<laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? This is October. This is what I expect to see in January. Not October. Look at it. Oh, I'll go as far as I can. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was close. That's as far as I'm going. I nearly lost it then. That, that is the heifers grazing, look. Oh, I just, you just don't need it, do you? I don't need it. Um, right, tell you what we've got to do. I've got a lot, lot to do, but I'm gonna, we're going to nip along. <sighs> and I'm going to show you where the electric fence was. I was hoping to put the, where I was going to, hoping to put the grazing cows yesterday. You know what, you know, sorry, I mean, you know yesterday I took up that electric fence. Oh, I said I was hoping to let them in that field. Let me go and have a look what that's like. In the meantime, you can appreciate what's going on here. What's going on here in this floodplain that is slowly getting worse and worse and worse because no one cleans ditches and dredges uh, rivers or anything like that. And there's no maintenance done by the rivers authority. And I'm stuck in it. I'm stuck in the middle as a sacrifice for that policy. How does that make me feel? Not great. As you can see, the guys who, who decide that it's no longer uh, practical to dredge rivers and stuff, they don't have to get up in the morning and go and move cattle. And uh, they don't have to find the money to feed and bed down cattle in October. Hey-ho. Anyway, on, on another note, on a more joyful note, thanks to everyone who's bothered uh, buying funky farmer calendars um, oh Christ look at this gateway I'll oh, get through here I might not make it all right people if I fall you get a good video I know I'm all right I'm up here we go look the seagulls are loving it oh it's raining again this is the worst I've ever seen it come up here Jesus it's got to be more rain than I've ever seen here. Um, anyway, as I was saying, those of you who bought a uh, Funky Farmer calendar, really thank you. Um, it does help us, help me run, you know, running our lives and trying to sort ourselves out financially from this sort of situation. So uh, if you're thinking about a Christmas present for anyone, think of a Funky Farmer calendar. Think of... Think of just, oh, I'm sorry, just try. Just just think of the impact you can have on a little person like me if you just bother spending 12 quid buying a, a calendar. Because look, I'm dealing with this now. I'm trying to put food on the British public's table and this is what I'm dealing with. How about that? How about that? Unbelievable. I just, uh, Look, that, that is where I made hay earlier in the summer. Can you believe that? Oh, right, let's go and have a look. Christ, there's nothing coming down here. I'm just, I'm just praying I can get these cattle back out for at least a few weeks and just buy me some grace. Do you know what? I'm very, very lucky. I am very lucky to have a great family around me, a lovely wife, um, a lovely farm, really. Uh, but I'm also very lucky to have you guys supporting me and what you do and, and the comments you give positive comments that, that sort of make you feel better at the end of the day um, and you see my life and you know what goes on but there's loads of guys out there on farms and girls sorry let's not forget the ladies who support the farms and do farming um, there's loads of people who don't have the public face I've got and don't have the support I've got and can struggle and you can see why can't you you can see what I'm dealing with here 
and it gets me down sometimes but you guys some of these, these people don't have that support and uh, it's a real struggle farming is difficult here we go look crikey so this is where I move the electric fencer from I'm just gonna walk down about to that dock leaf there I don't think I need to go much further than that look so this is grass that was intent I was today was a day the cattle I can't go any further I think my legs are getting wet so I was intend to let the cattle in on this today this is this is where they should have been grazing look at that look at that and um, where I went and got that electric fence from yesterday was just there Just there was where I, I was moving that reel and fencer and thank God I did, otherwise that battery and fencer would be completely knackered now. The, and then the idea was to graze this. It's, it's, I mean, I'm on the edge of it here and it's still a foot deep nearly. They were gonna graze this, this just top paddock. And then I was gonna strip graze that piece down below there for the next four or five days fat chance of that fat chance of that oh so as I said before I've, I've seen this flooded many a time many a time once in the summer once in my lifetime in the summer in July um, 2012 I think it was and it flooded for my dad in the middle of summer in, two, in 1970 because we got photos of it being flooded in the summer in 1970. But I've never known an October like this. I'm sure all of you are looking at this going, well, we've never known an October, September like this. Apart from the lucky people. Oh, shit. Oh, excuse me. I think I've got a hole in my welly. Oh. Um, there's a few lucky people that haven't got this. But this is the wettest I've ever seen it down here. Look at it. It's incredible. Fancy getting... I know my flood lines here. This bit never floods. This bit, forget it. Don't build your house down there, you'll always be flooded. But this is the furthest I've seen it come up. That's extreme. Um, there's normally a line, probably roughly where that oak tree across. This is really, this is nuts. So, anyway folks, you can see what I'm dealing with as well as the TB situation, which I don't know the results of yet. I'll know that tomorrow. Hmm. Wish me luck. Let's have a look and see what happens tomorrow. The reactor. Mm -hmm. You're joking. So, no. See, oh nothing my god. On the top, no lump at all. Oh my god. And then down here, we got yeah, it's a huge lump. Huge lump. And then oh, we, we got a reactor. Oh wow. Well. So Look the lump that. is 14. 14. And she was on day one. Oh. So is that 14 on the top or the bottom? On the bottom. Bottom. Yeah, she's six. Yeah. Right. So, is she on the top? Oh, TB. I'm afraid she is a oh, reactor. Christ. Uh, right, happy days. Happy days. Right, so we've got to put a DNA tag in her. A DNA tag? Yeah. So this is a DNA tag and it's for your everyone's security. Jump in the hole, doesn't it? Come on. Hey, 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 hey. She's like, stop touching my ears. Oh. Right, so that's the D, and we've got to separate her out. Oh, yeah, there's your sample, DNA sample there. What? Right. Okay. Right, so we'll deal with that.